the Olympics have been held all across the world, from France to Tokyo, and even in Salt Lake City in 2002. But in 2024, there's a chance that the Olympics will be held in Boston, only 30 miles outside the city of Marlboro. Well, if the Olympics did come here, they would definitely affect a huge region. Um, I actually lived right, well, not near Atlanta, about three hours from Atlanta when the Olympics were in Atlanta. I lived in North Carolina, and the economic impact was felt all the way three hours away. In fact, we had events near us that were in North Carolina, so there were people traveling back and forth. I think in Massachusetts, you obviously see <coughs> there's no way that the Olympics could be contained. The Boston Olympics Committee is proposing that the 2024 Olympics should be held in the capital of Massachusetts. In the proposal revealed earlier this week, the organizing committee says they plan on having 28 of the 33 potential venues to be within 6.2 miles of the Athletes' Village and calling the setup the Walkable Olympics. The city of Marlboro has major routes running through it such as 495, Route 20, and minutes away from routes that bring you directly to Boston, like Route 9 and the Mass Pike. So if the Olympics are held there, what does this mean for Marlboro? Well, I mean, Olympics aside, Marlboro already has so much to offer. Marlboro has the highest concentration of hotels anywhere in the state except for Boston. So we already have eight here, a couple more on the drawing board. So right now, Marlboro is really a destination for overnight travelers. Where we're situated in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts uh, has, been, has definitely been a blessing. But beyond that, the community leadership. Um, you know, you have community leaders who are willing to invest in their community. Being conveniently placed near Boston, Marlboro already has experiences with popular events. If Boston is chosen to host the Olympics, there's a chance that Marlboro hotels will be booked by people from around the world. Oh, I think anytime there's a major event in Massachusetts, Marlboro is a great option. A perfect example is the marathon. So the marathon brings so many folks and we've been working with the BAA to um, have more runners stay in the Metro West region because they don't realize that how much less expensive it is in Boston, but it's so family friendly out here. A lot of runners come with families and they want something else to do for four days and they don't want their kids to be cooped up in a you know, $500 hotel room in Boston for four days. So we already have a track record of, of using Marlboro hotels and, and Metro West hotels kind of spill over um, for major sporting events and we're already good at serving those um, visitors. Like for example, with the marathon, we have a shuttle system that's working between Marlboro Hotels and the marathon starting line. So we've identified some of the things that we lack, which is public transportation, and, um, and trying to figure out ways to make the user experience better by providing those things. Um, you know, we're in the very early stages of actually understanding of what this, what this may mean to the city. And uh, what we are preparing to do now is we're preparing to monitor the situation. We, you know, we need to know um, exactly when a, a potential opportunity comes forward, how we may be able to be positively impact, impacted, but also more importantly also is making sure uh, the city is not negatively impacted by the Olympics. Um, we want to make sure um, that our infrastructure improvements aren't pushed off to the detriment of, of uh, the city and or the region. Um, and we need to make sure that we're diligently monitoring the situation. But what we hope to do is be proactive in the conversation to make sure that uh, the interests of the city are well known and I know it's in the forefront of the, uh, of the mind of a, a lot of the city leaders right now. The announcement won't be made for two more years, but stay tuned for any further details. From Marlboro This Week, I'm Chelsea Halloran.